Good day, guys. Being here、um, today. Uh, let's uh, answer some quest- questions. Okay, so this one. So this is this one's about、uh, Dynamo. Unfortunately, I'm not very good. <laughs> I had a play.、Um, use、uh, download. I、uh, download this.、Um, from my understanding, it.、Um, so what it does is it just change one. So depending on how many.、Um, Uh, it looks like it's not working properly, but the, m- the more important issue is、um, because I think you try to、um, try to only apply that、uh, um, those what's、uh, hang on, what's that called only apply that dimension set below value to those、uh, not 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 equal certain.、Um, Um, value, so I think this node, this this one, only work for the entire the the one、um, dimension, not for a segment. So I did some Google's、um, or try to search、uh, on Google, and actually there's、uh, an, a a post. So if you look into this one, so there's、uh, I think that's a it's more like a a, a plug in or.、Uh, Yeah, you can download. I think that、uh, can you you can、uh, apply apply the apply this set below value to segment、uh, individual segment. So yeah, just have a look at that one. So I just quickly. So I think this is the、uh, the post I'm talking about. So just have a look and see if it. Yeah. Should should be working. That's four years ago. <laughs> okay, so now let's go to the next one. So a a po. This is a link, so you can have a look. Okay, so this one. So these are stairs. So from this one.、Um, okay, so I think we did this before. So I just、uh, had a look.、Um, I found this. So let me just close Dynamo for now. And I'll close this one as well. Okay, I found this stairs.、Uh, so we did this before, and I used、um, we used generic models for this one. So you can see this is a swept blend. Okay, so swept blend and the other half. So um and. So and yeah, actually, this is a reason why. So the question is. So usually, when we create a railing or a stairs, so it will cut. So cre- so you can see. I'll just go to floor plan. So it will cut these stairs and then show these as a、uh, dashed, right? So but for this one, so you can see it that it it really dashed these. Stay the trees, but not this、um, uh, handrail or balustrade. It's because it's not actual、um, a railing or or stairs. It's a generic model model in place. So this is why it's not showing like、um, dash. So it if it's as、um, like. But a straight, it will show something like this. It will continue this line to here and show this part as、um, dashed line.、Um, unfortunately, <laughs>、um, I don't think it will work that way. But you can still、um, try. So one way is you can just oh maybe just uh, um, oh, we can try this one actually. So I think we can try、um, line works. So let's have a test. Maybe I'll I'll use overhead and pick this line. Ah,、uh, sorry, it won't let me. Ah,、uh, don't work because I'm 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 doing this because ah、uh, sometimes when you can you I'll just draw something draw a wall, and sometimes you can use ah.、Uh, Long wait, long oh sorry, long work 
line line works. <laughs> What's that called? Line work. Use line work and then uh still doesn't show. It won't allow me to you know. There's a sometimes there's a point somewhere, so we can drag. So I'll just go to side plan and see. Um, maybe 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 it doesn't work on you know cut lines. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just do a roof because um, so maybe I'll just click on this. Now you can see we can adjust. Oh, I only want to dash this part, not this. So I just click on this and then I only want to dash this part. So this is a way uh, sometimes it work, works, but not um, for this one. So yeah, maybe um, I don't know. Maybe if it's me, I'll just uh, uh, one method. One way is uh, ignore it or just hide the whole thing, <laughs> and maybe just draw detail line. Yeah. Sorry that I hope <laughs> uh, um, it won't disappoint you too much. <laughs> so anyway, so let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Another way is um, we can model this. Use different method instead of uh, modeling place. Use um, yeah. It can be a bit tricky because I know that if we use string now, it's a little bit harder to finish at this point. If we use a solid balustrade, it will become curved, not vertical. Um, yeah, I'll think about this. <laughs> anyway, so let's go to the other one. Okay, so this is uh, another one, another stairs. Stairs very <laughs> tricky in Revit. So um, not so different. Come L shape. Ah, L shape. Okay, so yeah, yep. I think we can do that. Um, Okay, so let's do it. Let's call it's um hang on, let me just create a new so we can use ballast blaster to um for those L shape plates. So what we need to do is we need to first go to fab create a new family. Um it will be ballast uh, we don't need angle no Okay, so we can use this one, baluster uh, post. Okay, so this is left view, I think. Yeah, left view, and this is we um, look cutting the threads. Okay, so we we standing uh, beside uh, a fly of a stairs. So we need to create an L shape so we need to go to front view from view so it will be somewhere here um, okay so let's do it so we are going to create extrusion okay we need to pick a reference so we're going to draw this on a vertical word plan and it will be center from back I think Okay, so now, so let's have a look. So there's a size here, so 75 by 75 by 3. Uh, I guess the depths will, you know, roughly match the threads. 25, 27, or oh, sorry, 250, 270, roughly. So uh, let's just make it 250 for this one. Um, okay, so. I think this will be this will be the the top surface of um, tr the thread, and um, let me just have a look again. Sorry, I think it's look by looking at this one. If that's seventy four, slightly higher than seventy five. Let's make it maybe ninety. Okay, so ninety. Um, Okay, so 90, so which means the L shape will be 90 below that line. So I'll just draw a line, uh, 90, yeah, and then 75, and down by 3, go back 75, 
and just copy this one three and finish fin trim trim and then I just copy this one by 75 and finish it so this will be the L shape okay so um, and so here you can change the material and for the for the depths or for this uh, depths of this extrusion so I'll just type in so if it's two, uh, 250 I'll just it will be 125 negative 125 on the other side so this will make this extrusion 250 deep okay and now we can load this one into that uh, do we have the project already um, yeah we can load it into here so we can what's this called um, uh, maybe I'll just create a new <laughs> new project okay so new project and I go to this L shape uh, baluster load this into here okay so now we need to create a stairs okay so go to 3d view and I'm going to so first let's adjust this stairs to roughly uh, match that one so I'm going to just edit duplicate I just call it new oh hell let me just check is this it's a precast maybe I'll change this one to a um, maybe as this one okay and then edit type duplicate new okay and um, we need to change the round type so let's go round type duplicate i'll call it new again okay so now here we change the so first the thread i'm going to make it 90 okay so and then default that's all good uh, turn off the nodes and get rid of the riser apply okay apply okay so now and also uh i'll just yeah i think that's all good so then we the next step we need to place those l shape we already load that family into here so we just need to go going to directly just uh change this one so i'll just duplicate create a new type so for this one so okay no railing we don't need railing we need baluster placement go to here uh, we need we don't need this one so this is one for uh, railing on the flat surface on the floor for example so we don't need this and what we need is this one use baluster per tread on stairs we need one for each stairs and we don't need these so this these are the start and end and a corner okay so we don't need this and don't forget to change this one so this control what baluster we use for this so all good so okay apply and okay ah top rail we don't need top rail okay so that's it so have a look okay it's there but it's not in the uh, correct uh, position so that's because of this offset turn it changed this to zero it will go back so not still not perfect so you can see it's um it you can actually i think you can just maybe we can just negative offset negative three uh no that'll work <laughs> that's fine so another way we can offset it that way is we can just go into that um family so it's on the railing the baluster is on the railing and just edit just move the whole thing to the left by three and this should uh, fix this so it will yeah just go outside of this trail but this will create another issue so you can see this uh, streamer because there's no way we can offset so you can see if i type the, uh or well, actually before that let's just change this to a c um, channel uh, profile still stringer so we can just select this stairs edit type here stringer so just let's just oh not that one this one and duplicate i'll just create a new 
and change this uh, profile to a, I'll just use this one. So uh, the size is not right, but just uh, to show you. Um, and OK, apply. Oh, this one. <laughs> and that's fine. So let's change this one to new. Ah, uh, hang on. Where's the type? Oh, here, sorry. Here, new. OK, and OK. So now we have this. So it looks like we need to flip flip the, the profile. So go back, check this box, flip section profile, and OK, and OK. And then uh, maybe let's uh, see, change the, see if we can change the, change the, what's this one? On landing, on run. So this one should be on run. 100. Yeah, go up a little bit. 50. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Uh, maybe 30. Okay, okay, and okay. So that's I think that's it. So we can't really offset this. Uh, I think this there's a possible way, just like we uh, what we did to this L shape profile. So because the C shape, this one, so you can find it under profile. So you can see this C channel profile. So this is the one we use for this. So if you edit it, so and then uh, VB, check all these uh, reference here. So you can see it's, 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 it's here, right? So if we, I, I'm thinking if we move this one to the left by three, this oh sorry to the other side by three it will fix this but um yeah looks like there's a lot of dimensions and the constraints so i suggest no do not touch it uh, i will not i will not touch this so i just pretend i didn't see this <laughs> okay or you just or just bring the l shape back and then yeah um um yeah so this is it so uh we can then with this one you can just change it on to new and just make sure you uh, get rid of the offset and we'll be there so l shape change the wireframe so you can see them okay so if we create a different stairs and finish it it will oh it will use this one <laughs> By default, maybe I'll just select it, change it to new, get rid of that, and that's it. So if you change the uh, slope, for for example, let me just go um, uh, make it very, very 18, top, edit, 18, is that 18, 19, 18, 18 finish okay so you will see different different oh, are they still the same so this is ah what's going on I want to change the slope uh, so this is 2217 oh yeah I think it's correct it looks like the, probably because I place it in the, on the angle so that's why it looks like a uh, same but anyway so you can see a different slope i think so it will automatically uh, match all the threads okay so no problem at all and this is it um so i think that's enough for today uh yeah i will have been very busy um doing my uh, school assignment so <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I ans uh, I will have t enough time to finish all this. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.